<coughs> hey, and welcome to the channel. It's uh, 3rd of November. Uh, it's quarter past one in the morning. Somewhere about there. I don't know exactly. It would be a good idea. Oh, wait a minute. The clock's saying 25 to 1. Um, It's not entirely sorry, 40 minutes slow. Um, yeah, doing this, uh, doing this is actually quite weird. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how healthy it is actually, but uh, I don't even know if it's really well. It's just, it's just my life and that's just what I just have to go on with, I suppose. You know. Um. Just have to go on with it. Uh. So there's a, there's a phenomenon going on now, a... Uh, Anytime anything comes up, so it, it was the referendum in the Scottish independence, it was 2014. Um, so, yeah, it would be helpful if you'd pulled in, I suppose. But, and um, so there was a lot of bitterness, there was a lot of like, pose, so at the moment the Donald Trump stuff's coming up, there's a lot of people don't like Donald Trump. So, I like Donald Trump, so the problem is that that I could land up falling out people uh, over it. Uh, I just think most people are quite vacuous about about it. Uh, they, they seem to uh, concentrate on disliking him and don't seem to be addressing the the, the options. You want to be ruled by Obama, you know. Because that's the, the options. And uh, so, so oh, it's sort of a venture and it's sort of lefty type, left wing, most, most, you know, d Democrats are Republicans, Donald Trump's a Republican, so. But it's. So, I, I'm, at the same time, I want to stand up for what I believe in. Right, so it's difficult to stand up for what you believe in, right? So, for example, there's a public meeting um, for a BES, B E double -S, S, which is a battery storage facility. It's called the South Clean Storage Facility or something like that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure exactly where exactly it's going to be. Obviously, South Clean is. I think it's in Stirlingshire, but it'll kind of be far from the, you know, Falkirk border. So there was two things came out yesterday in the Cowie page, and a daft, you know, to me, we should totally oppose a battery storage facility, without, absolutely without any thought at all. Don't even think about it. You do not want a battery storage facility. They say, well, why not? Well, because it's a toxic monstrosity, and if it catches fire, it's going to fucking kill your kids with the fumes, right? And uh, it's, it's a technology that the, what's that? It's not a technology. It's a route that they've decided to take, which is fundamentally the wrong option. So the wind factories and the battery storage facilities. So, this battery storage facility should not be anywhere near. So it's too close to where I live. South Clean, right? Which is not exactly right next to where I live, but... I'll show you where South Clean is, roughly, from the motorway, uh, in a minute. Um, so I thought, where do I start with this? So I wrote a bit on it and I deleted it, because it's just too much, you know, 
it's too, they are numpties and num everybody should be opposing it. That's what I think. So is it? So I, I, I'm not obviously not going to. Is there much point in me going to this public meeting? You know, not really. Are they going to listen to me? Probably not. You know, and even a sort of like from this point of view. So I'm opposing this battery storage facility. I kind of thought it was going to be near Cowie. But, it's south, but it doesn't seem, they wouldn't be calling it South Plain, would they? So, uh, the battery storage facility is an extremely bad thing. Don't want it. It's, it's a heap of lithium batteries in containers, is what it is. It's like loads of electric car batteries in containers. That's what it is. So it's like having 50 electric cars parked parked in a facility. Well, that's exactly the same. Um, so one catches fire a whole lot of what. Um, so... <coughs> <coughs> so I just put an angry face on and deleted my comment. The reason I deleted my comment is I think it's... I don't even know where to start with it other than don't fucking do it, but I know that, I know that the numpties will just... They won't listen to it. And then what will happen, if I go out and try and moan about it or something, they'll turn on me. You know, who knows the, the company, there's a big there's big money in it. So they could try and uncover shit with me and cause trouble. Well, of course they could. Because you'd be fucking up their uh, potential to, to make money. So, I, you know, it would be brilliant if the whole lot of us could t turn around and oppose this thing. But that won't happen. That won't happen. Nimbies will go for it. So it's about right here. This would be South Plain here. To the right is Plain. Um, we just went over the bridge back there. So they're building a lot of houses in Plain. And I mean, this is not going to solve the whole thing about the. Uh, climate crisis. Uh, oh, here we go. I'll get a, I'll get a fact check put up in front of my on this video probably. Um, is now this type of thing is not going to. So should be going for clean energy. Yeah, if, if you believe that, then should be having a small modular, modular nuclear reactor. That's where, where it's going. That's where the technology is going, and so these battery storage facilities and wind factories, wind farms are going to be outdated. They're outdated already. So they're ex let's call it, use that word. They're super expensive. <coughs> super expensive, and I'm just saying, what's this bit here? Is that the railway? We just went over the railway, huh? So it'd be like the other side of the, ra the railway line from here to the right, somewhere about there. Do you want to live near that? No. So that catches fire. I suppose I'll be kind of protected from it. N generally, the wind goes to the west. Uh, to the east, sorry, from the west. But not always, of course. So there's one of them caught fire in Australia, and there's one of them caught fire in California already. Um, and it, I mean, that sort of totally destroys the, the landscape, you know, when that happens. It's totally destroyed for what, millions of years. All to save the planet. Yeah. to save the planet, eh? It's got to be well worth it, eh? Destroying the planet to save it. Kind of insane. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just how, how the public's been bullshitted. It's incredible. Um, I've got a rear light not working on the van. Uh, your side. So 
So they're gonna have two of these, and they'll, they'll sweet talk them. They'll get they'll get approved approve from Stirling Council because it's green. So they'll be given the go ahead to all the green, so-called green. Uh, uh, initiatives and uh, that'll, that'll be that and they'll build it and it'll be there for a few years <laughs> and then they'll have to get rid of it so who pays for it? well us and our bills then them, them bees and numpties don't really care do they? so why we went down these crazy routes solutions for something uh, I didn't really, I think it's just maybe the fact that you get to know about stuff more now than maybe in the past I don't know so uh, we'll have a look at that I suppose in the tunnel update tomorrow I could go and protest I could, no, I could go and protest with all banner so kind of like in the same sort of, like a Just Stop Oil type activists. But I'd just stop, just stop battery storage facilities. But they'll probably turn on me if I've started that. Alright. Oh, they will. I thought these two cones was a car. That's what happens when you drive at this time of night. The place you can access things don't register properly. Um, although I'm not, I've got a bit of a headache. I'm not overly tired. I did sleep a bit on and off for about two or three hours. Uh, so I'm not like really tired or anything, but. It does, it plays tricks with your mind. You start seeing things and everything, like hippopotamuses and things. Um, it's a bit weird, yeah. So I get these like, thing, like ideas that I want to do things and then, like at this time of night, I just go, oh, I can't be arsed, you know. Be like, drive to Norway. I want to go to Norway, you know, and then I probably won't do it. I just keep going on about it. I don't even have my passport sorted out. So I'm going to go here and see, see who's uh, sitting there. Uh, I don't think I'm actually late or anything. Uh, I know it's crazy what we do. Just just to do a car boot, car boot sale. That's <laughs> fucking nuts, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. It really is. It's truly, it's truly amazingly nuts. So we've got a barbecue this today about five o'clock. Uh, that'll be all right. I've got to get the blue car down for an MOT tomorrow. Oh yeah, just change, change the red. By the time I get there, yeah. So blue car's got to go down to South Alloa to Stevie. I don't even know what that garage is called. I forget. South Street Garage or something. Um, it's got to go there. Uh, I'm going to get the back seat in it. And it's currently full of clothes. But it's not difficult to get the clothes out. And uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. Mm -hmm, uh -huh, mm -hmm. Oh, fuck it. Oh. 
should have been going a bit faster there. Shouldn't have. The, the lights are always against you at Grangemouth, I find. Like, they, they always seem to... It never... It never fucking works in your favour. When I got to ourselves get round about, it'll be the same there. Um, it's fucking always the same. Obviously because, because you lot are here, that's why I had to do that. <laughs> it's like, because normally I'd just fucking go through them, eh, but... Yeah, there's no, it's not going to make any difference, is it? Do you know what I hate people that say, be patient? Fuck off, stop telling me to be patient. You know, I'm not patient, I'm not going to be patient. Why should I be patient? It's like, oh, why did you take your time? Look at this here, right? It's green here, right? I'm coming up to it, change to red. You know? Yeah. And the next one, the one over there that's green at the moment, it will change to red by the time I get near it. Watch this. I don't know if a Bugatti Veyron or something would do it. Something really quick. So now here we are, we've got a red light here. So how many red lights have we seen tonight? Fucking loads. I'm in the wrong lane again, probably. Don't know why. Why would you buy a Nissan Duke? Oh dear. We've well, we got another red light. I think we're in the wrong lane. See that? That's been absolutely unbelievable. That's every fucking light has been red. It's like. They just don't like us, do they? They want us to, to be held up, slowed up. It's in the wrong lane. The Range Rover there was in the wrong lane as well. <laughs> None of us were in the wrong in the right lane. They were way over the inside, that was way over the outside. It was really the both of us needed to be in the middle. Somebody says to me last week uh, that I wear women's clothes and uh, it's quite a weird thing to say to somebody actually because actually all the clothes that I wear are my clothes, you know, they're mine, they belong to me. Uh, I don't have receipts or anything to prove it but I don't think I'm just going to argue about who they belong to and it's a bit of a weird thing to say to somebody, it would be an extremely strange thing to say to somebody um, but there is a lot of strange people around and they will say strange things. The best thing to do with them is don't listen to them. So you've got to identify who... It's just... It's, it's just that thing with narcissistic personality disorders. People like that. That's just the way they are, you know, and it's like... You get them occasionally. I used to try and avoid them. People say weird things. I tend to kind of try and avoid people getting my nerves at when I go to these markets and car boot sales. It's, I think the, the one way of avoiding people saying weird things to you is, well, maybe just to get yourself busy. <laughs> you know, not not be in a position where you get to listen to anybody. You know. Uh, what's going on here? Oh my god. Oh my giddy good god. What's going on here? No. Uh -huh. Wow, the burger van's there already. The trailer. It's been let, dropped off and left there. So I could actually pull in there. Um, 
nice wheels and just pull in there right now. The problem is I don't know who's going to land up behind me. Is the issue. Um, it's a risky part of it. Um, Right, we've made it. Boy racers are here. So we could actually um could actually just pull up behind that. Uh boy racers are here. So, um thanks for watching this video. Uh like please like, share and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.